all their image areas, these little cup switches will go in and end up with them. And when the cup switch is hungry, he'll start to eat the little round things. But the round things don't know it, they just like get another cousin and they come out of it. But we like the little cup switches. And like they say, some of them will be instead of the but they'll be pretty good size. They can eat a pretty good size rattlesnake. Come on. Oh, right. <laughs> like they were chairman quick enough to see that. When they uh, hit like that, their mouth is completely open, flat out. Their bottom jaw is Their bottom jaw is all the way down. Their bottom jaw is all the way out. And it's hard to catch it in your eye. All I can see is his mouth start to open. But I'm not quick enough to see that where it's all the way out. But when he plants it in you, he's out like that and his fangs are pushed as far as they can be here. Now, a big snake, most big snake, their venom is uh, it's pretty bad if they hit you. Nobody actually usually dies from a rattlesnake bite, but you can die from going into shock after the rattlesnake bite. And if one bites me, I probably go into shock. But a little bitty snake, their venom is the same venom as the big one. But a little snake can give you a bad dose. When they, when they hit you, they don't have that much control over what they're doing. And all their hearts and they have is they can get rid of this predator. Where a big snake, 40% of them are going to be dry by. They're not going to waste that venom on something too big to eat. Which that's the job is. I'll go back to my little children.